Ralph Lauren has long been synonymous with classic fashion, but these days you're more likely to see a $4,000 handbag in the window of their flagship store than a polo sweater. Here to tell us why is the WSJ's Ray Smith. Ray, thanks for being here. Thank you. So why are we seeing this shift to Ralph Lauren really focusing on its luxury goods, putting them out front? Sure, a big part of this is their strategy in Asia. They're opening a lot of new stores and, and building their business in Asia, which as you know is luxury's frontier. And basically, it's, it's about building brand awareness to get the consumer to think of Ralph Lauren as a high-end luxury goods brand, and mainly with accessories like handbags, which they're not really known for. They've been known more for their clothing, and like the polo shirt, as you said. So it's, a, it's an effort to sort of almost rebrand themselves in a way, um, but especially to get the consumer to think of them as a luxury goods brand. And they have had this luxury line for a long time. I mean, there was never kind of a dearth of $10,000 Ralph Lauren items you could buy. It's just not what you always saw when you went into the store. But I never really thought about the, the accessories side of that. I've definitely never owned a Ralph Lauren bag. Why are these so important for their strategy going forward? Sure. Um, for luxury goods brands like Chanel or Louis Vuitton, um, it's the accessories that are really the, the growth engine. And an executive at Ralph Lauren actually told me that they expect the accessories business, business excuse me, to grow faster than the apparel business. Um, going forward. Um, and it's just a big driver, the main driver of growth for a lot of these uh, luxury brands. So Ralph Lauren, um, I wouldn't say they've woken up to that, but they're, they're definitely looking to capitalize on that. So what happens to the polo items, you know, the denim, the kind of stuff that we might be used to seeing in Kohl's or even at outlets? What's the fate of those kinds of things? Sure. In, in fact, they're actually building a major polo store um, on Madison Avenue that's going to open up probably later this month. And they're, they're saying that what they plan to do is they're not diminishing polo or reducing it by any means, but they want to separate it to make it more clear that Ralph Lauren, when you go into a Ralph Lauren store, it's about these handbags and uh, $4,000 suits and gowns rather than just polo branded merchandise and that polo will have its own separate store and so it's to make the identities of both brands more clear because I think there's some confusion uh, where people tend to think of polo first when they think of Ralph Lauren. Right, that's definitely a big facelift for Ralph Lauren. So going forward, if when you look at kind of the new more expensive or more luxury tailored Ralph Lauren, who are their competitors now? Sure. I mean, they really consider themselves in the ranks of like Chanel and Valentino and Dior. Um, and so they really feel like that's where they want to be positioned. That's where the consumer should think of them as sort of a high end, sort of at the top end of the, the luxury goods market. All right. Really interesting strategy. We'll see how it pans out in the U.S. Ray, yes. thanks for being here. Thank you.